Hmm. Oh. Huh. I think it's time for a new switch. My Luxo L1 task clamp needs a little work. The switch is a little temperamental, and the plug, which is a European plug with a North American adapter, is not polarized, which isn't the safest. So we're going to fix both those things today. To pull the socket out of the head of the lamp, we're going to need a little bit of slack in the, uh, the wire. So making sure we're unplugged. We'll start feeding this up to get the necessary slack. There we go. And that should be enough to um, pull the socket out. The knob here for the switch is actually glued on. So we do have to pry it off. You can try pulling on it. If it doesn't come out, uh, then you'll have to resort to a little more drastic measures. Um, so in my case, you know, getting something in there to protect the finish on the lamp and then um, prying it, prying it, there we go, prying it off. There we go. Next, pull the bulb out. One bulb out. Now this top piece here needs to be unthreaded. Again, careful not to scratch the uh, finish. There we go. Uh, take one, take a one more fitting out of the bottom. Uh, this is just kind of a spacer so it, the um, socket doesn't wiggle around. And now we should be able to pull the whole assembly out. We kind of have to angle it out to get the switch out of the hole. And there we go. That's our uh, bulb housing. So here's the socket for our bulb. To get to the switch, we have to unscrew the bottom from the top. But before we can do that, inside uh, is a little tab that we have to bend back so it will unthread. So right there, um, we just bend that back a little bit, Ooh, a little bit more than planned, and now it should just unthread. There we go. There's the base of our socket. And now if we unthread these. That should all come out now. There's the wires. Well, we have a bit of a terminal block right there is preventing the switch from going back into the assembly. So we'll have to get this terminal block to come out. So we'll just feed in the lamp wire. There we go. Now we should be able to push that. There we go. There's our switch. Now that we have that opened up, 
Let's take a look at our plug as well. Let's pull this tape off. So there's our North American adapter. And there is our European plug. So we're going to cut this off. Let's uh, strip some of this wire off. Now we can see our two wires inside. So we have a green, green, maybe blue, uh, and a red. And then let's look at the other end. And uh, right there, you can see we have a blue and a red. So the red goes to switched, which goes to the base of the socket, and the blue goes through the threads of the socket. Let's take a minute to understand the wiring and how we're going to do this. So a basic lamp circuit is first you have your plug, um, the wider terminal, let's make this extra thick, is actually neutral and your thinner prong is line. Uh, and so your line will go to your switch. And then if we have our lamp socket over here, it will go to the middle. And there's a usually a little terminal prong at the back. And then neutral goes right through and goes through to the threads on the socket. When it's wired like this, this ensures you never have hot contacts in the socket when the lamp is off. If this plug was reversible, like it was in my case, you could actually have hot threads in the socket when the lamp is off. So we will correct that wiring while we have it apart. Let's start with the plug. Here's our new one. We can open it up. And you can see the silver prong is flared out on the end, indicating it is the wider terminal and in this case neutral. And then we have our brass or, or narrower prong, which will be our line. And then according to our wiring diagram, we want both the uh, center of our socket as well as the switch on line, which if we look here is our red wire and here's our red wire. So we'll connect that into the um, plug just like so. Here's our old switch and our new switch. I'll uh, put the part number down below and I'll give you a link of where I purchased it. Link is unsponsored, but it was uh, a little challenging to find. So you might as well benefit from that research. So let's, let's see what we can do. The new one. One thing I'll note is that on this, you'll notice this is a plastic face with a plastic sleeve coming up. And for the same part number, a lot of them actually have brass. And the brass one's pretty common. I'm not sure if there's a difference or not. I managed to find this one, which is exactly the same as the old ones. So that's what we're using today. The hardware on the old one was both brass, so I think we're going to use the old hardware. Now the old switch is actually just screwed in, so we can undo this screw. 
undo this screw and our oh, not quite enough. There we go, it comes right out. Um, of note is Ziv actually sweated these wires. Not normally what you see, but if that's the case, we will sweat ours as well. Let's cut up the new one first to be exactly the same lengths. Nice and tight. The old sweated wires were, you could tell the, the screw had sunk in pretty good. While we're here, we'll get, make sure this one's still snug. Oh, tighten it up a little bit. And then into there. Nice and tight. Give that one a check. Check mine again. And I think we're good for reassembly. So we have our new switch in our socket. Now we'll just feed it into the lamp assembly. This is just a spacer and it just sits here free on the wire. It kind of notches in there a little bit, but we can get that once we have it in. Again, you kind of have to angle this in to get the switch through. There we go. Now we'll have to get this all threaded through the spacer and then into the socket. There we go. We'll just snug that up with the pliers, making sure our switch is centered in the hole. We don't want it off to one side, otherwise our knob won't go on. There we go. Not too tight, just snug. Put our spacer in the bottom, which keeps it from wiggling around. Try our switch on and just push that on. Seems to be pretty solid. Oh, and a satisfying click. There we go. I don't think we need to add any glue. It seems to be pretty on there, pretty firm. Um, let's, let's give it a, grab a light bulb, nice LED bulb. Note, it's a European lamp, but we're using a North American 110 volt bulb, which works just fine in those sockets. I think the difference is one's a little longer than the other. Now we have our nice polarized plug. And let's turn it on and off and on and off. That's pretty satisfying. Uh, we'll Unplug it again. It's on its base and we'll just pull this slack wire back through. Not too much because we're going to make sure it can still pivot everywhere.
And there's my repaired Luxo lamp with a new safer plug. And a nice satisfying click. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.